The 3D preview is this area uh, at the left where we can see a rendering of our uh, maps. So let's open a brick material and let's uh, enlarge our preview a bit. Above the 3D view we have the map preview switches so we can enable or disable each map individually. Pressing uh, Alt key and 8 toggles all on or off. In the 3D view we can use the left mouse button to move the camera around the object as if uh, it was orbiting it or we can use the right mouse button to rotate the object. And below the 3D view we have the model selection setting where uh, we can uh, change between some uh, included models, plane, a box, a cylinder, a ball. In all these models we can change the UV tiling multiplier which does uh, what, what the name says, it uh, multiplies the UV coordinates. Besides the included models we can also load our own by drag and dropping into the 3D view. So we have this rabbit or cloth. And next to the model and UV tiling multiplier uh, controls we have the displacement control. But let's first change to cylinder uh, model and get the UV coordinates back to 1. The displacement control when at the center doesn't preview any displacement, the surface appears flat. If we move the slider to the left, it will increase parallax mapping displacement. Parallax mapping, you can see that gives the illusion of depth. However, at the edges of the model, you can see that it's uh, completely straight. So. Parallax uh, is faking displacement into inside the polygon. But if we move the slider to the right of the middle position, it will do instead vertex displacement. And you can now see that it is actually subdividing polygons and uh, projecting outside. And next we have uh, the environment control which it's a switch, both a switch and an environment map selection menu. And we can uh, enable or disable the preview of the environment map. It's only the display because the environment map uh, light is being used to render the, the model, as you can see. And uh, we can select between the environment maps available or we can drag and drop our own. Let's now see the lights. The, the lights control one or more lights which can be used in the scene. We use this slider to increase the power of the light and we can uh, change its position by pressing the control key and moving the middle mouse button, the, the wheel button. Sometimes this light uh, is not very visible because usually the environment uh, map light is already quite strong. Let's uh, drag and drop uh, another environment map where we can better see this. Okay, so this environment map uh, is not so bright. And light is quite strong now. And the other type of light available is a pair of red and blue lights. Now more to the blue light and now more to the red light. And finally we have the exposure control where we can uh, 
use different uh, exposing times, so to speak. Creating a brighter or a darker rendering. <laughs> 